Hi everyone. I've been to a local Comic Con yesterday. Um, it was a rather smaller uh, convention with uh, without any artists or other uh, famous people. Um, just some, um, a lot of toys, comics, um, cosplayers, and uh, yeah, a lot of food trucks. So the recipe for a great day. I picked up some books that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, let's see. I picked up um, Batman, Master of the Future, which I read online is actually the sequel to. Um, where is the book? To 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 a tale of the Batman, Gotham by Gaslight by Mike Miola. So this this is a sequel to this. So I had my eye on it for a little while and I saw it there for a good price. A lot of vendors had everything for 40% off cover. So I went ahead and picked it up. Then I picked up uh, Superman Speeding Bullets. Which is an Elseworld, Elseworld story. Um, I don't know too much about it. Um, but I've seen this book uh, pop up in a, a couple of videos of people I follow on YouTube and it sounded very interesting, looks interesting, it's a little trade, trade paperback, so the art looks great too, so we'll see what the book is like, um, then I picked up Wolverine Max Permanent Rage, which is uh, Volume 1. Wolverine Max Escape to, to LA, which is Volume 2. And Wolverine Max uh, Vegas, which is Volume 3. I believe this is the entire uh, run or series. I like collecting the Marvel um, Knights and Marvel Max series just because they usually are um, standalone stories and a, a bit more gritty like it says on the cover explicit content so um, when I saw the when I saw these I just picked them up they were 40% off too so got a bunch of good deals um, then I picked up Wolverine The Jungle Adventure by written by Walt Simonson with art by Mike Mignola so Wolverine story with those people working on it I couldn't pass it up I haven't uh, I didn't know this book existed but it looked interesting I've read it this weekend and I enjoyed it it's a little yeah Wolverine story with um, Apocalypse in it um, and the Savage Land. Really like the the Mike Mignola art or the T Rex in the story too. He's shot of Wolverine in the Savage Land. Then I picked up a little mini series. Um, Wolverine and the Punisher. Issue 1 of 3, Issue 2, and the last issue, Issue 3 of 3. And the guy who does the covers seems to be doing the interior artwork too, because if you look at the cover and then the art on the inside, it looks very similar, so I believe it's the same guy. Love Wolverine, really like the Punisher, so decided to give it a go. And then I picked up a little Wolverine uh, Eagle Moss uh, figurine. Um, it's my first uh, Eagle Moss figure, and 
really like how a lot of these look uh, look um, the guy who was selling these had a lot of them uh, a lot of different characters from Mystique to Emma Frost to Elektra um, yeah I just I saw Wolverine and decided to pick it up it will go nice nice on my shelves um, let's see what my biggest purchase of the day was an, a Marvel Omnibus The Avengers Volume 2 by uh, Roy Thomas, Stanley, Don Heck and John Buscema with an awesome Buscema cover um, I actually bought it as you can see over here for 80 euro uh, which is like 82 bucks I don't know 82 American dollars um, which is under cover price because the cover price is I don't know if you can see it 99.99 dollars .99. so I was really happy to find this for under cover price especially because wherever I look um, this cover uh, seems to be out of print the Alex Ross cover is um, still available everywhere I look but this one the one I really wanted um, seems to be out of print I don't know so undercover price for a new out of print book why not and um, I bought it also because I have volume number one of the Avengers which is by Stanley Kirby Jack Kirby and Don Heck um, which is a nice looking book too um, this is one of my very first omnibus volumes I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it but it was really really cheap um, this has the same cover price as volume 2 but I, I even paid less for this one a lot less but I really like how they show all the covers on the back they don't always do that but I always enjoy, enjoy it when they do so now I have volume 1 and 2 I can't wait to get started on this uh, volume 1 the first issues of the Avengers um, yeah that's what I picked up um, I went, I went uh, with my girlfriend, she picked up She picked up a couple of trades too. Uh, she picked up the first three trades of um, Sweet Tooth by Jeff Lemire. She um, read all through all three of them already um, <laughs> in a matter of a couple of hours. Um, and she picked up uh, Six Criminals Volume 2. So it was a good day. Uh, had a lot, we had a lot of fun. Um, the food was was great. Um, it was the first edition of this uh, rather small Comic Con, and um, if they return for a second um, for a second time, I will surely be attending. Um, the, this was the I believe second or third Comic Con this year for us. Um, there is a big one um, in September, the biggest of the Benelux. So Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg, uh, which is in the same city as the smaller one, Ghent, um, and that one has a lot of um, artists and other famous comic and TV show uh, stars and people. Um, Lee Bermejo will be attending. Uh, who was the big? Oh, George Perez is. Is coming too, um, so I'm thinking about bringing a lot of books uh, with me to get signed uh, by the various people who will be attending. So I'll be bringing books and uh, taking books home with me. Um, that's it. Um, I'm planning on doing a collection video uh, very soon, hopefully next week. Um, it's been long overdue and yeah so that's something to look forward um, it will be my first collection video so be on the lookout for that and thanks for watching 
Talk to you guys next time. Bye.